Hey, what's up, all you amazing people? It's David Alexa, the Student Ministries Director for the Montana Ministry Network. Hey, I just want to take a moment uh, to let you know that I was disappointed to have to cancel PK Retreat, uh, but this is an unconventional time. We've never been through this, and so we will regroup, we will regather, and we will relaunch PK Retreat next year. Um, you know, one of the things that I love about PKs is the heart for one another. And uh, Morgan Gear, who is a, a pastor's kid up in uh, Calisbury at Canvas Church, she has had something laid on her heart to share with you. Um, she was going to be our speaker, one of our speakers at uh, PK Retreat, um, actually this weekend. And so um, she would love for you to join with her in a three-day devotional called Spiritual Identity. Um, following my video, you'll see her video of just a little devotional that she was going to share and to encourage you. And I would love for you guys to jump on there and do that devotional with her. I will be doing it as well. And if you have any questions during that time, um, you can write them in the app. You can uh, make comments, suggestions, or different things. And let's just encourage one another during this unconventional time. Just want to remind you that we as a network love all of you, and we're praying for you, and we're hoping for great things to come. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. I'm so disappointed that we are not able to do this in person, but I'm so thankful that we have the technology to be able to do it this way. Um, I'm Morgan. I'm from Kalispell, Montana. I'm a part of Canvas Church, um, and I grew up a pastor's kid as well. Um, and as a pastor's kid, there are um, specific struggles and trials that we go through um, and stereotypes that we deal with. Some of the stereotypes I dealt with were um, perfection, um, innocence, and because of these stereotypes of pastor's kids, my friends would not tell me certain things because they thought I was too perfect or too innocent and they didn't want to um, mess that up or they thought that I would judge them because I was perfect and I was a perfect sweet pastor's daughter um, and because um, these stereotypes were so pressed upon me they started to feel like expectations and me being a people pleaser I felt like I had to live up to these expectations and I felt like I had to be perfect and I had to be just this sweet, perfect pastor's daughter who didn't ever do anything wrong and who was the perfect example. And and um, I was letting other people tell me who I was and who I should be um, instead of listening to what God tells me I should be and who God says I am. Um, and so today I just have three reminders uh, for you guys. Um, the first one is you don't have to be perfect you're gonna mess up. Everybody messes up. You're just like anyone else. Um, Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Even Jesus knows that we're gonna mess up, um, that we're gonna make mistakes. We're going to sin and we don't have to be the perfect, innocent pastor's kids that everyone thinks we should be. Um, in 1 John 1.9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God knows that we mess up. And so he sent his son, Jesus, to die for us, to take away those sins and to wipe those away so that we can be forgiven when we do mess up. So that's the first reminder. You don't have to be perfect. The second reminder is you are not a pastor's kid. That's not who you are. That's your title. Sure. But just as pastor is the job title of your parents, pastor's kid is just your title. And we have lots of titles. I am a sister. I'm a friend. I am a pastor's kid. I am a student. I hope to be a mother someday. I hope to be a wife. Um, and these are all just titles. And if I find my identity in these things, then my identity is going to change just as quickly as my title does. If I find my identity in being a student, then when I graduate in three years, I don't have an identity anymore because I'm not a student. And if I find my identity in being, say, a mother, I wouldn't have an identity right now because I'm not a mother, I'm a college student. 
Um, so our titles don't identify us. They, they're not my identity. And pastor's kid, that's just a title. It is not who you are. The third reminder is you are a child of God. That is your identity. Jeremiah 1.5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. God knew you before you were even born. He pieced you together and placed you in your specific position as a pastor's kid for a reason. And he knows who you are. And he calls you his child. In 1 John 3, 1, it says, See what kind of love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. He calls you his child, his loved one. He calls you chosen. And you are put in this specific, unique position as a pastor's kid for a reason. You are not a pastor's kid. That's not who you are. You are a child of God. But because you are a child of God, God put you in this position. Because you are his child, he knows you and he put you in this position for a reason, um, to be an example and and to be a light to those around you. People know you, people know your parents. Um, and so God has put you in this position for a reason, but he has called you his own. Um, starting on May 22nd, I'm going to be doing a Bible plan on the YouVersion app about identity. Um, and it's gonna go for three days, super short and easy, but I would love for you guys to do it with me. Um, I'd love to talk with you guys and answer your questions and hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, so thank you so much. And I hope you'll join me on the Bible app.